Hi guys, D900man here for phoenixtech.com and we've got an iOS 7 hidden features video for you today. So you can see, if I lock my device, that I am running iOS 7 here. You should be able to see the background slightly moving there. So I am running iOS 7, I am a developer and I am on the developer's account. But just a few hidden features. Now the first one you probably all know about is that if it zooms in, there is now live clock. So the clock updates um, itself and the second hand rotates and it shows the exact same time as what is in the status bar at the top. So it's a nice little feature, it's been available for jailbreak tweaks for a while. But if we head into the clock tap, you can see that when we're in world clock mode, if I tap on the clocks here, that they turn into digital clocks. A nice little feature there that Apple has included. If we come out of that and then we head over into the settings menu. If we head into the brightness and wallpaper application and then change our wallpaper and go to panoramas and then we set this, we set it to the lock screen, lock my device and then reboot it. You can now see you can view a full panorama and tilt your device on the lock screen which is a really nice feature. If you've got a gorgeous sunset picture or or you know down at the beach picture that's a panoramic picture then that is really really nice. Another little feature you can now slide anywhere on the lock screen not just the slide to unlock bar to get to this point here to actually unlock your device. So another nice little feature. Another nice little feature that Apple have incorporated is in the multitasking menu. So if we just boot up the multitasking menu, if I use two fingers, you can see two applications there. If I slide up on them both, then they will both disappear. And if you had more, you could fit more on the screen, then you could do all of them. So you don't just have to do one at a time, you can do multiple swipes to get rid and close those applications. Now these ones aren't quite as much as hidden features but Apple didn't announce them at the WWDC 13 event but if we go into the music application and then albums if I rotate my device you can see that they've got rid of cover flow and now you've just got your album art in these pretty nice boxes and if you click on one of them it then brings the album art to the side and then your playlist down here so another nice little feature that Apple have incorporated there if we go into settings and then head on down to maps they've got a few different choices for the maps application you can now set it so there's no voice low volume normal volume or loud volume and then you can set the distance in miles or kilometers so a couple of nice extra little features and then you've also got walking directions and driving directions next up is the weather application now you have different types of motions or animations in the background of the weather application so you can see it's partially cloudy and then you get a different one if you swipe over to a different place. You can see the temperature just underneath where I am. If I tap on this it will show the humidity, chance of rain, wind and feels like temperature as well. Next up is the compass application. If we click on this and then just a new way of recalibrating the compass instead of the figure of 8 you just turn it a complete 360 degrees and then your compass should turn up and there you go you've got your compass just there but the compass now has a self built leveling so you can see that it tells you how many degrees out it is and which certain direction if I lay this straight on the table it's good to show that my desk is perfectly level. You get that green and zero in the middle. Last two on the iOS 7 hidden features video is Newstand. You can see that my Newstand application is now in a folder. It's great that Apple have allowed this. Not many people use it and it was just kind enough taking space on a screen of its own on iOS 6 for myself. Over in Passbook you now can use the scan code feature so if we click on that you can then scan a code if you had one to import that straight into Passbook so a couple of nice features there but this has been my review of the iOS 7 hidden features 
Not all of them are hidden, but some nice little features that Apple have incorporated. If you find any more little features and like to let us know, please let us know about them in the comments down below. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and also remember to subscribe. That helps us out absolutely loads. We'll be bringing you loads more iOS 7 feature videos as more beta releases come about. But for me, thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you real soon in the next one.